hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'll be creating this beautiful simple and easy makeup look for newlywed brides this look is inspired by none other than moni roy and i really liked the way she did her makeup and also this is really easy simple yet sophisticated daytime makeup look now i'm not trying to copy her by any means i just wanted to break down her makeup look for you guys and this is not a exactly the same look i tried creating a very similar look with a little bit of improvisation as this is a daytime makeup look so i'm using this lotus organics plus bakuchiol plant retinol cream i'm just gonna take about this much first i'll be dotting it all over my face and then i will gently massage it into the skin and this feels really lightweight on the skin doesn't feel sticky or greasy and it hydrates your skin instantly Moisturizing is done and now I'm gonna move on to the primer. It makes my skin look very nice, juicy, dewy and hydrated. Also, it gives a very subtle glow to the skin. And look at that how beautiful and dewy my skin is looking it's all because I prepped my skin really well so yeah prepping your skin is a must I am in love with this foundation recently and this is a mini version of the Nykaa skin shield foundation I got it because I wasn't really sure about the shade but oh my god the formulation is so good and it looks so beautiful and dewy on the skin so first I'll be dotting it in all over my face and spreading it out with the help of my finger and then I'll be using my beauty sponge to blend everything out and look at that it blends beautifully and after settling down it just gives you a very flawless looking base I just love this foundation Next, I'll be using these K-Beauty concealers to conceal and contour my face. First, using this shade to conceal my dark circles and pigmentation. And then blending everything out with the help of my beauty sponge. Once that is done, I'll be taking my darker shade concealer and I'll be using it as my cream contour. Now this concealer works great as your cream contour and it looks really nice on the skin but make sure you use a very little amount because if you use too much, it's gonna look muddy and that doesn't look nice at all. Now Moni Roy has a very sharp chiseled face and I don't have that. If I want to achieve that, I have to go under a plastic surgery but I don't want that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna properly contour my face and this is gonna give you that illusion of a proper structured contoured face.
and also make sure that you blend everything really nicely so that it doesn't look like it's made up on your skin it should look very natural and contoured at the same time I'm gonna take this translucent loose powder from Rimmel and I'm just gonna set my t-zone area with it and I took a very little amount and just pushing it into the skin as I want a very nice flawless natural looking skin this is gonna set my t-zone area without making it look heavy or cakey next taking this compact powder and with the help of a large fluffy powder brush i'm just gonna set the rest of my face with it she has a very bold structured dark filled in brows and i'm gonna mimic that so i'm using this faces canada eyebrow pencil and i'm filling in the sparse areas and also giving a structure to my brows so that my brows look very structured and filled in and bold just like her Next using this essence make me brow eyebrow gel to set my brow hairs in place. Moving on to the eyes and today I have this My Clam Pop Exo eyeshadow palette. This is in the shade Send Nudes. And this eye makeup look is so simple and easy to create. So first I'll be taking a matte brown shade and applying it all over my crease. And then taking this matte pink shade and applying it underneath that brown that I applied. And I'm mostly focusing on the crease. This is just to get a little hint of pink on my eyelid. Now coming to the main focus of this look which is the kajal. First I'm gonna tight line my upper lash line with the help of the kajal. And then I'm gonna draw a very simple liner very close to my upper lashes. And I want my liner to look very stark, bold and jet black. So I'm just going back and forth with the kajal for 3-4 to four times. And this kajal is really nice. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't purge and it doesn't bleed. It stays on its place throughout the day and I really like this kajal. Now I'm not gonna do anything on my waterline, okay. I'm just gonna let it be. Here what I'm doing is I'm smoking out my bottom lash line. First I'm using a little bit of kajal and then smudging it out with a help of an angular brush then taking this pen liner from inside cosmetics and I'm creating a wing on my inner corner as well as on the outer corners of my eyes Taking the same matte brown eyeshadow from this palette and smoking out my bottom lash line. Now she had falsies but I don't use falsies. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply a generous coat of mascara. Again taking the same matte brown shade from this eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use it as my contour slash bronzer as this is a very pigmented blendable matte brown shade so it just works perfect as your contour or bronzer. Here I'm cutting my contour so that my cheekbones looks nice and structured. Then for my blush, I'm using this e.l.f. Bite Size Face Duo in the shade Lychee. She had a very little blush on her cheeks but her nose was literally red. I think she had Sindoor on her nose but I'm gonna use some blush instead. She didn't have much highlighter going on on her face. It was a very nice sheen on her face but if you are a newly wed bride, I would definitely recommend you to use a little bit of highlighter. 
coming to the lips now she has botox or lip filler whatever it is but she has very nice and full lips which i don't have so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna contour my lips and then i'm gonna use some lipstick on top For my lipstick today, I'll be using this Colorbar Kiss Proof Lip Stain in the shade Hollywood. This is such a beautiful red lipstick. I think she had a pink toned red lipstick going on but as this is a newly wed bride makeup look, so I decided to go with this one. Now honestly speaking, NYX Exotic was the first lipstick that came to my mind but as that lipstick is out of stock for a while now, so I decided to use this one and as you can see here, I'm not going for that full blown red lipstick look here i'm just applying a little then dabbing with my finger to get a very blotted muted sort of red lip look now i'm gonna change my outfit and wear some jewelry and be right back so here's the completed makeup look all of the product links and details everything will be mentioned in the description box so don't forget to check that out and i hope you guys find this video helpful if you do then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you soon in my next one bye